तो स्टूडेंट्स एज एनी बिजनेस एंड एनी डोमेन हैव देयर ओन टर्म्स हैव देयर ओन टर्मिनोलॉजी सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल कवर सम ऑफ द की टर्म्स ग्लॉजरी एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी विद रेफरेंस टू सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इन द टेक्स टू हंड्रेड सर्च टर्म्स आर गिवन इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू कवर ऑल ऑफ दैम इन वन मॉड्यूल तो आई हैव शॉर्ट लिस्टेड अबाउट फोर्टी नाइन ऑफ दोज टर्म्स एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड आई विल कवर सम ऑफ द की टर्म्स फ्रॉम अमंग दोज फोर्टी नाइन सो लेट्स गो एंड डीप इन टू इट अब द फोर अब द फोर इज वॉट द यूजर सीज वेन दे विजिट योर पेज विदाउट स्क्रॉलिंग द पेज and if you put too many advertisements without the scrolling the google search engine and their uh, their their algorithm as a matter of fact penalizes search such pages then is bedu bedu is a chinese search engine which was uh, launched in year 2000 and of course it is uh, very popular in china and it mostly indexes the chinese websites bing is the search engine for by the microsoft broken link broken link is a link which generates 404 error what is that error that the link is there but when i click on that link that link is not connected to any page that is a broken link bounce rate okay bounce rate is people land on my page it is a percentage and without further investigating or going deep into my web page or clicking at a link in my web page they leave bounce rate they come they don't do anything and they go bounce rate clickbait clickbait is there is a link and that link is promising something interesting something rewarding something enticing but it is not there okay so the text is there a picture is there something uh, maybe a video is there but when i click on it it leads to some other place it generates and results in something else which was not what was promised that is a bait okay then is a uh, conversion rate conversion rate is again people land on my page and how many of those people as a percentage do what was required from them to do for example people land on my page and i ask them to give some information and i ask them to participate in a survey and i ask them to perform a certain operation to get registered okay how many of them get registered with reference to how many came over there crawler crawler is the software which automatically moves over the web moves over my website and looks at the information which is used to index the web and my web page then is dead end page dead end page is obviously the page where i can come but there is no place there is no link going out of anywhere to that page that's a dead dead end page deep link deep link is that these are my web pages okay and i can go and land over here i can go and land over here without sequentially for moving through the pages duck duck go duck duck go is a search engine which is popular by virtue of the fact that it preserves the privacy uh, in my experience in my humble experience it it does not performs in terms of response and results like other search engines but it preserves my privacy it does not shares it with other people duck duck go findability is how what is the measure of getting or found my page over the internet over the web google analytics is a uh, is a tool which use which can use by you to analyze the user behavior when they visit your website and of course there is certification of uh, of google analytics also google boot is the is the crawler by google google trends google trends is uh, is a free analysis service 
which analyzes what keywords are being used over the internet, what people are searching for. Guest blogging is that I write blogs for you and you in turn link to my page. This is not desired by Google. Hidden text is I have put lots and lots of text in my web page, okay? But of course, it is not visible to the visitors. And I am hoping that based upon those text which is hidden, I get a high ranking by the search engine. Uh, keyword stuffing is also same as this hidden text that I put lots and lots of keywords hoping that my page gets high position in the search results and those keywords may have nothing to do with the contents of my page, actual contents of my page. So this is not desired by Google search. Link bait is the same as before that it is promising something but it is not there. Link form is that number of people, okay, number of these are linking to each other. These are linking to each other in the hope of creating lots of links which falsely makes their web page popular, their website popular. A link velocity is how fast a link is or how fast a site is getting linked. If it is, if, if there is high link velocity, it means there is spam. Log file, it is recording all the data. Then of course, uh, this a lot of things over here. Organic search uh, is the results which appear on your screen when you perform a search over a search engine. And uh, rich snippet is the text which is shown, which you store with your web page when somebody comes over there and it gives, gives a very brief uh, intro about it. And then of course is robots.txt. It is a text file which I place on your website, which you place on your website, uh, giving certain directions to the crawlers or to the, ro or to the robots. And uh, WordPress is a very popular content management system. You can create wonderful websites using WordPress. I am not uh, advertising WordPress, but this is a fact. And Yandex is a Russian search engine, which has been around for quite a while. So you see, there is a lot of terminology and there is a lot of glossary which you need to know and you need to understand also because knowing is not sufficient. Applying is the key. That's the message for you. Thank you for your time.